we're in sunny Worksworth. This is my studio, my main studio, where I do all my metal work and stuff. So this is pedal with all my might. It's based on this giant red spider mite thing here. The exercise bike that drives it turned up in a skip in Worksworth. This body of it turned up on a scrapyard in Derby. It was uh, some kind of pressure vessel from a heating system. When you go fast, it's quite, even though I've got the seat really low and it's quite difficult to pedal, it quite readily gets up to 24. And if you go really fast, though my legs are a little bit too long for it, and I'm far too out of condition, you can get the 28. People don't really realise there are bolted dishes on its head at first. In fact, a lot of people probably don't realise it at all. Beastly machines sounded like ah, beastly machines, but it also means that I can make lots of machines that are creatures and there's, I mean, a lot of my work is creatures or people anyway and it tends to lend a certain sort of comic element because creatures really are really beautiful and graceful and machines, especially made on the kind of budgets that I'm working on, uh, tend to be a bit more clunky and less genteel and elegant. Uh, this is a sketchbook I was kind of using when I put the Beastly Machine show together. Oh, look, there's an owl. That really gets my goat. That never got made. That's a different kettle of fish. That never got made. Shopping centre, oh, that got made. So there's various things, serious ramifications, and it's the bee's knees. All sorts of creature-based titles there. The one I'm making on now is, is Rat Race, which would be quite nice. Here's some cartoony rats, and these are the, the, shape, the, the sausage-based car shapes. So it's like banger racers, it says it there. And so the, uh, the drums that I've got here would be, um, there'd be a pair of them side by side like this. And originally I was thinking of having it like a hamster cage rolling walking wheel. But then I realised if they go on top of the drums, uh, it'd just look a bit more sporty, like they're racing. And they'd be like laboratory rats. The shopping centre was a title, and then it was a drawer, and then it was a sculpture. Uh, Canoodling Canooganoos kind of started to develop as an object, and then kind of grew a title and then it had to happen really. Having a whale of a time, didn't really have a title until it was finished and I just wanted to make this big whale thing. So they're different every time really. Uh, you'd call it metal fabrication really I think, mostly you'd call it metal fabrication. Some of it you might call engineering. Um, so I've got a grinder and a plasma cutter that I chop my things up with to make. And also, for more precise frameworks, I've got a, uh, a, uh, an off-cut saw for making a structure to make something. And then I assemble it using various types of welding, mostly MIG welding. Sometimes for the neater stuff, like in the Mosquito, it's all the stainless steel of that's TIG welded together, because it's just a much nicer weld. So, there's bits everywhere, really. This was a half-made thing that one day will get finished. It was originally going to be the head of a snake and then the head of a dragon. But uh, again, it's a mixture of these are, these are industrial uh, stainless steel pipe reducer fittings. That's a pipe end from stainless These are both front and back are stainless steel pipe ends. That's a bit of old industrial conveyor belt and they're just some bits of stainless steel that I've beaten into a curved shape and, uh, and ground down to a point. I like having mechanical things in my work because it gives people something to interact with really so if somebody comes along and they can pedal an exercise bike or press a button it gives it means that they're they're kind of participating in the artwork i think that having things that people can interact with makes them open to a wider audience than than, than just having something that's there and, and totally conceptual and i like making machines anyway and and it's funny because uh, if you make a moving animal, the chances are it won't be that elegant and so it will tend to naturally incorporate an aspect of humour to it. And kids like it and old people like it and you get electrical engineers coming, oh that's an interesting thing you've done there, or, or world has gone, nothing much of that world there, look at that, look at that, Ooh, nah. and stuff like that, so, but, but they still give them something to relate to.